Men and women experience safety in a very different way a lot of the time. And today I've got a story for you from one of the wonderful women I represent who's found herself feeling unsafe. G'day guys, it's Tasman from Catcher here with another segment of Catcher Together, where we take stories from the front line of the wonderful world of men and women working together and share them with you, our community. In a previous episode, we talked about how one of the key catalysts for women to experience stress is when they feel like they're in an environment that they can't trust or they're unsupported, it's in some way unsafe. Now, of course, both genders find this uncomfortable. However, for women, this is a particular area of concern. I was talking with one of the incredible women I've had the chance to represent from a recruitment perspective, and she's telling me about a situation that's appearing in her organization, which as an organization has quite an excellent culture, but within her particular sales area of the business, a couple of key leaders are having a bit of a stash. So how does this stash manifest itself? Well, in sales meetings, a couple of key leaders have started arguing. There's raised voices, there's a bit of swearing, there's some late night aggressive emails. And beneath these leaders, there's a little bit of political division amongst the teams that report through to them. Now in the past, this person's had an excellent sales leader who had her back. And so she's felt like she was essentially supported. But when that leader moved on, she found herself in an environment where she doesn't know who to trust. When she speaks to her male colleagues about this, their feedback is, you're right, it sucks. Your numbers are fantastic, you've got nothing to worry about. Just put your head down, make some good money, a few years later you can move on. But for her, this doesn't fly. So what's she doing? Well, she's looking for her next job. So what do we take away from this? Well, for us, we deal with organizations often where there is a culture in particular parts of the business where it's okay to raise your voice, to have a bit of a yelling match with the guy opposite, to send some emails late at night. And we all know this has a detrimental impact on organizational culture. But what often slips under the radar is the substantial impact that this has on the engagement of your women employees. Now, both genders don't enjoy this paradigm. But if the money is fantastic, and this is particularly true in sales environments, men can put their heads down, drive through, make good money, disappear after a few years. But for your women employees, if they're feeling like they're in an unsupported environment and they don't know who they can trust, it's gonna be a very stressful place for them to be, no matter how much they're killing their sales figures. So what do we do with this story? Well, the reality is that every organization is a unique beast, but there are three fundamental paradigms that we can attend to. The first is that no one likes working in an adversarial organization, even those who are adversarial. Number two is that for those organizations looking to address diversity, the presence of adversarial pockets or political climates within your organization will forever be pushing against your diversity and inclusion initiatives. And your third is that every organization, no matter how big or small, should always have mechanisms to both listen to and build upon their organizational culture. Now, if you'd like to know more about how to address, develop, listen to organizational culture and leadership effectiveness, get in touch. And through our partnership with Datna Group, we can connect you to world-class leadership and culture experts. For everything diversity-centric in the recruitment of women, get in touch with the team at Catcher. Check out our website, go to our LinkedIn page, there's much more content there and we look forward to seeing you around.